So we developed a new product for the Phantom 4 Pro that's gonna allow you to fly your drone directly into the pouring rain, the absolute worst thunderstorm you can imagine, and not get any water inside of the drone. Now we did this by creating a three-part system. The first part is the actual wetsuit that goes over the top of the drone. The second part is something we call a water protection ring system. And the third part is the surge mask on the bottom of the unit. Now today we had a torrential downpour. So we decided to film it five times slow motion to show you how the system actually works. Um, one of the first things you're going to notice is how the water is actually dripping off of the drone using the uh, 2.5 millimeters of neoprene. That's the actual wetsuit that covers um, about 75% of the drone itself. We left some of the vents open because the drone has to breathe and has to stay cool. So we took those vents and we enabled them to breathe air but we stopped the water from going in. So you can actually see that the neoprene has two sides. It has a white side that the white is really designed to keep it as cool as possible. And then on the back we have the black. Um, we call it the Orca. It's pretty striking. Um, you can see it on our website phantomrain.org. Um, the next thing you're going to notice are the props. So you have, you have these vents that are inside of the uh, engine. There's two levels. And what we developed is something that we call compression rings um, that stop the water from going in but still allow the vents to breathe out, which is just phenomenal. Um, there's eight rings all together. If you look really close, you can see them. They're at the top. They're the black ring on the bottom and the black ring on top. Um, they're made out of compressed neoprene. Again, neoprene is probably the best material to keep out water. But not only that, it just it allows the water to drip right off. And that's what we're really trying to do here, is to get that water to drip off and not go inside of the drone. So inside the landing gear, the Phantom 4, we have these electronic components. Because of that, we needed to make them much more water resistant and we needed to support the clips on the back of the enclosure. So utilizing the, the wetsuit, we were able to wrap it around really tight, give it a good seal, and also give the landing gear a lot more support, which is gonna make a much better flying experience. And at the same time, if your drone does go into the lake or to the ocean, because it's not going to flip over on its back so quick, giving you a chance to get it out, you don't want to have to worry about any water inside of the landing gear. So those legs do a really good job at what they're designed to do. So up until now, the biggest issue flying the drone in sport mode in the pouring rain was that water got inside the battery, shorted it out, the engine stopped, and the drone crashed. So what we did was we utilized the Phantom 4 wetsuit and we created a seal around the battery that is almost airtight. Now because of that, we have been able to fly the drone directly in the pouring rain in sport mode for almost up to 30 minutes and the end result was there was no water inside the battery. So this gives us the confidence now to absolutely fly the drone directly head on into any weather storm that we've seen so far without having to worry about water getting inside the battery. Absolutely a fantastic flying experience.